Hey everyone, this is Kevin from themathworld.com and today we're going to be going over a nice little trick how to compare fractions. Specifically, how to compare fractions that have a denominator, the bottom number that's different. If the denominator is the same, it's a little easier, but today we're going to look at a trick how to find which fraction is bigger if the denominator is not the same. So we'll go ahead and take a look at our first example. Let's compare 3 fourths and 5 eighths. And the first thing you want to do is you actually want to multiply the denominators by the numerators. The denominator being the bottom number of the fraction and the numerator being the top number of the fraction. And it's going to be 8 times 3 and 4 times 5. And you're going to make your arrow up. So 8 times 3 is 24. And 8 times 3 is going to go over the 3. So the 24 coincides with the numerator. Make sure that you don't put the 24 down here. And 4 times 5 is 20. So since 24 is greater than 20, then 3 fourths is greater than 5 eighths. And we'll take a look at a few more examples here. Let's say 7 twelfths over 4 ninths. And remember, the first thing we're going to do again is multiply up. So 9 times 7 is 63. We're going to write 63 over here. And 12 times 4 is 48. So I'm going to write 48 here. Now these numbers don't equal anything. None of these fractions equal. These numbers are arbitrary, but they do tell us which fraction is bigger. And since 63 is larger than 48, then 7 twelfths also is greater than 4 ninths. So we'll do one more. And it works for however large number you want to do it. So we can do 11 over 25 and we'll do 5 twelfths and we're just going to multiply and multiply. 11 times 12 is 132 and 25 times 5 is 125. So as you can see here, right away we would never be able to tell which one's greater, but with a little multiplication we can see that since 132 is greater than 125, that 11 25ths is greater than 5 twelfths. So this is how you compare fraction, a very easy way to compare fraction when the denominators are not the same. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't checked out the website, themathworld.com, check it out. Everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in our next video.